I'm going to show you how to put the streaks left by fast-moving objects like uh, meteors, satellites, and if you want, airplanes, back into your stacked images. Uh, this technique works with Starry Landscape Stacker or Starry Sky Stacker. I am illustrating this with Starry Landscape Stacker version 1.5, but it will work with any version of the programs. I've started out here with a bunch of images. There's a total of 24 here, and I'm working on cleaning up the mask for my sky. Once we have that, then we can get into the interesting parts of the task, which are blending together the image with the streak and the background. I'm just going to say align and save. I'll take a while here because there's a lot of images to align. But what I want to show you when we get done here is the reason for having the choice uh, between mean, median, max, and min. Okay, we're almost done. It's compositing the images together. It's compositing them four different ways. And we'll get to choose among those four compositions in just a moment. Okay, uh, the last one I was looking at was max. So what we see here is we've taken the brightest pixel from all of the images and we can see this satellite very clearly here. We can also switch to median, which is a default. We have a very good representation of the sky, low noise and no satellite. So what we do, uncheck this, we don't need the mask, it's not very interesting. We save the median and then we select max and we save max and then we combine those two images in Photoshop and we can get an image that looks like this. So I have down at the bottom here stacked the max and the median. I've applied some curves to make the, the max match the approximate the brightness of, of the median result and some color balance because the color didn't line up quite right either. And then I, somewhere in here, is a mask that I used, here it is, to expose just the satellite from the max image and the rest of the image is the median. So the overall effect is very low noise, but the satellite is very visible. And the way we do that is by taking the max, saving both the max and the median, or perhaps the mean if you prefer, and then combining them with, in this case I used Photoshop, but uh, any good image editing software will let you do this.